Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Repton Around the World in 40 Screens. This is your interfere, and this time we'll be visiting the last scenario, which is Africa. So we can see here that, oh, Repton wants to be very, very warm. Um, least said about that, the better, I think. And we can see the boulders here are the coconuts. The pineapples are the diamonds, and that fork down there is the key, which opens up these little gates we see around here. Now, all these snakes around here are very dangerous, and they're the skulls. You can see the earth is all this grass, and oh yes, look at the map for this level, it's laid out like a snake as well. So, coming up here, we see a little hut, which has a little tribesman in it, which we can't see very clearly right now, but we'll get onto that a little bit later. See the apples below us, they're time capsules, and the cage we opened up above us is a uh, cage, surprisingly enough. And we can see the spirits down there, they're actually uh, parrots now. And uh, we pop down, we get to pop into this middle area here, and let's have a look at the tribesmen. Yep, okay, that's the tribesman. And, okay, we'll just pop down. We can see a plant that's hiding in the middle of some things over there, but uh, we'll discuss that later. We need to grab one of the pineapples from there, across there, otherwise in that avalanche it will be buried. So then we uh, pop up the top and go through here, do a little repton shuffle because we want to get back out again. And we can find the crown, which is a banana. Yes, I mentioned before how the level uh, designs seem to be very, very fixated on food. They couldn't really put any food into the ocean scenario, so they decided to go all out this time and make pretty much everything they can into food. I don't know what they were doing to these uh, graphics designers. They must have been starving them or something. Anyhow, we get to deal with the uh, big snake's tail how the rattlesnake lost its rattle, and uh, we pop down into the starting area again because there's a few gates that were down here which have now opened up. And I don't know why our little forks opened up the gate, it's another one of those bizarre replacements. So anyhow, just on clean up around here now, and we'll get back to that plant that I was talking about earlier, which we have to let out now, and by the way I said let out, yes, so you can probably guess that's the fungus, it's a Venus flytrap or something. And here's the time bomb, which is now a grenade, which has still got its pin in, so I don't see why it's a danger. And this level's called Welcome, which is very nice, and it's laid out like actual Africa, and so that'll be, give us a good... Uh, idea for navigation around this level. We are now to the east, no, is that east? No, west of Africa, and we're dealing with a few things. Um, we have a few carnivorous plants at the top there, and we can grab the key straight off. And uh, we need to come back into here to go into that transporter at the top, which now takes us over to the east now, get that right, of Africa. And um, Yes, we've got a lot of coconuts to drop down there. A lovely bunch of coconuts they are, indeed. Shame there's no limes around here, otherwise we'd be able to make another joke. So, um, we've got now the pallets down the bottom here, but to let them out we've got to be careful with how we arrange our coconuts. There they go, all standing in a row. Sorry bad joke. <laughs> and I kind of already used that uh, reference as it is. Never mind. So clearing up the east of Africa now and actually going into Africa itself. And yes, we can see the grenade right at the bottom, so we've got to be careful how we drop all these coconuts down. We don't want them doing anything uh, that would impede our process. Progress, sorry. Right? 
There we go, I think we've got it quite right now. And yes, we didn't want to come over across the, the top of the Africa to start off with, because we would have dropped the coconut down and it would have blocked the way into the middle. So quickly dispatch that trans person and pop down to get the final pineapple over this area. So now we head back to Southern Africa to finish everything off. There we go. And here we start off nicely underneath a load of coconuts and pineapples so we have to find a way out of here. And then when we get up the top we find out that we've got well, quite a lot of cages, and they're obviously all in the middle, and we've got to find a way to get them connected to the outside so all those parrots over there can get into them. And the coconuts are actually quite spare around here, uh, well, not uh, very available, and um, yes, yeah, so you have to try and uh, use them sparingly. I think that's what I was actually trying to say before. And there we go, Tribesman dealt with. So he's out of the way. And we'll grab our key down there and bridge this cage to the outside. And we pop down this way and we've got to make sure we drop these coconuts correctly Otherwise, we'll have to start all over again, using a very nifty Repton Shuffle there to sort things out. And pop straight into this transporter, which gets us to the bottom of the area where all those parrots were. And we can see there's quite a lot of Venus flytraps, and we're keeping one of the, uh, or a few of those pineapples down there, because uh, we'll, well, you'll see later. I'll leave it as a surprise, you can probably guess why we're leaving those down there. So we make that way free for the uh, parrots to get out and we deal with this tribesman uh, quickly. And we don't want to leave that on top of there because otherwise our spirits will get, well, our parrots will get confused when they, when one of them goes into the cage there and then the coconut suddenly disappears. So we're now bridging the gap to this cage and we can leave the coconut precariously balanced on top of it because we're only going to have one parrot left behind. So we're kind of waiting for the parrots to come out of there and want to go into that cage so we can finish everything else off. Repton's just admiring the trees looking a bit strange and the uh, outside wall is looking a bit uh, thick with the brush so uh, we could do some gardening around here anyhow now that other parrot's going to be heading over to the other side and giving us the uh, final pineapple which Repcom seems very tentative to take for some reason so we pop down to the bottom area to where we haven't been. And we find out there's loads of Venus flytraps down here too. And oh look, there's a transporter. Hmm, wonder what we could use that for. Yes, I kind of dropped the hint very loudly earlier. There we go. So we're done with this um, level and uh, this is the end of the episode. See you in the next one.